in extinguishing the fire. So what we are going to talk Module 3. The topic for this module is about firefighting equipment. Before we proceed, let us first define firefighting. It is the act of attempting to prevent the spread of and extinguish significant unwanted fires in buildings, vehicles, woodlands, and the like. It is about the bringing fire under control in putting the fires out. Who is a firefighter? A firefighter is a bona fide member of the Bureau of Fire Protection. Who is a rescuer, extensively trained in firefighting, extinguish hazardous fires that threaten life, property, and the environment. They are also being contacted to help in rescuing people in some cases or jurisdictions and also animals from dangerous situations. They perform multitasking duties. Firefighting equipment. What is a firefighting equipment? Firefighting equipment is designed to extinguish fires or protect the user from fire. It is the main firefighter equipment used to extinguish fires, including firefighting hose, portable fire pumps, fire hose reels, fire monitors, firefighting nozzles, fire resistant protective clothing, fire resistant gloves, respirators, and communication equipment. Firefighting equipment is not being worn by anyone else just to warm their body against cold. Yet, a firefighting equipment can be used by untrained user so long as he knows or she knows what these firefighting equipment are used for. Firefighting equipment are being used by the trained firefighters. They knew how to use the equipment and know the limitation or limitations of each equipment as some other equipment are used intended only to any cases where the scene is full of smoke and not advisable to be used when fire is on progress. And some other equipment are used to protect yourselves from the heat that caused by the fire but not for during the smoldering situation. Categories of firefighting equipment First is the fire extinguisher. It is a portable or movable apparatus used to put out a small fire. Again, it is only intended for small fire. Otherwise, fire extinguisher is not advisable. It is being directed onto it a substance that calls the burning material, deprives the flame of oxygen, or interferes with the chemical reactions occurring in the flame. No single extinguisher can be used to tackle every fire. Because each type of fire extinguisher has different classes of fire on which it is effective. Thus, selection must be considered or selection of fire extinguisher must be considered. Otherwise, 
wrong use of fire extinguisher will make this situation worse. Instead, that you can save the people, the uh, victims, using of wrong fire extinguisher will put them in the situation where they can no longer escape, which will result into unwanted incident. Let me reiterate again the use of fire extinguisher. First, you need to check the fire extinguisher. If the seal is not yet broken, then it is presumed that the fire extinguisher is in good condition and it is not used. Otherwise, you better look for another new extinguisher. So, first, you will just remember the PASS system. P stands for pull. By pulling the pin, it will automatically break the seal. There are instances where the seal is hard to be broken, so it, you need to remove first the seal before pulling the pin. Next is you need to aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. A stands for aim. Make sure that the nozzle is pinpointing towards the base of the flame because this is where the chemical reaction that is taking place. Next, S stands for a squeeze. Once the nozzle is pointed, is pointing towards the, the base of the flame, the squeeze now the trigger. Then the last letter S stands for sweep the nozzle side to side. Again, just remember the pass system. Next category is firefighters gear. It is for protection from the many dangerous conditions. Fire resistant outer suit, inner lining suit, inner and outer gloves, woolen socks, fire resistant shoes, helmet with or without headlight communication system and breathing apparatus are covered by this firefighting firefighters gear these are essentials for the firefighters to deal with different situations it is also designed to protect firefighters from serious injuries resulting from contact with fire installed firefighting system it is important component of a safety plan which include main water supply network, hydrant, sprinkler, whether automatic or manual, emergency fuel and electric cut-off system, portable generators, and portable uh, pumps, which also include here in the uh, smoke detector. Communication equipment, which also include here in the walkie-talkie, radio, broadcast, broadcast, landline telephone, sound power telephone, cell or mobile phone, and voice pipe. It is designed to give firefighters or rescue professionals comfort and good mobility wheels, making sure that the firefighting crew are in contact with each other and the firefighting crew commander at all times. Why firefighting communication is important? Communication is vital for the success of any emergency operation. It is essential for firefighter safety 
it reinforces visual observations, sets the stage for the entire incident, and provides valuable information for everyone involved in the operation. If someone is trapped or the victims are found, this equipment is essential for fast communication to notify your comrades. Fire Detection and Alarm System It includes smoke, frame, spark detectors, local, centralized, automatic, semi-automatic, and manual fire alarm system. Some of it, the systems use automatic functions to detect the occurrence of an event that may result in a fire. They receive a signal from a fire sensor like the smoke, heat, or carbon monoxide detector and automatically transmit it to the fire alarm panel. Why fire detection and alarm system are important? Detection and alarm system are an important part of your overall fire protection process. Discovering fires early contributes to protecting building occupants, limiting property damage, and minimizing interruption of your operation. Other accessories. It includes the water and sand bucket, shovel, hammer, fire axe, cutters, hooks, fire blanket, emergency life saving apparatus, and emergency lights. Another thing that we have to consider is the protective clothing. Firefighters require special clothing for protection against flames, falling objects, heat, toxic gases, or lack of oxygen, loss of vision, loss of communication, and physical damage. But these are the usual protective clothing that are being used by the firefighters, like boots, helmets, gloves, and rain gear made of rubber. Again, we must not ignore the other protective clothing that must have to be considered because depending on the situation that we are taking in will help us to identify what are those protective clothing that we must have to wear it. Other protective equipment that may be worn as situation demands. First is the oxygen breathing apparatus, the OBA. It is particularly valuable for rescue purposes because it enables the wearer to breathe independently of the outside atmosphere. It produces its own oxygen and allows the wearer to enter compartments, voids or tanks that have a low oxygen content or that contain smoke, dust or the face piece contains the eyepiece, the speaking diaphragm, and the head trap, straps. The breathing bag contains the oxygen that is generated by the canister. One breathing tube transports the oxygen from the breathing bag to the face piece. The other transports the exhaled air back to the canister. Next is the airline mask. Never use the airline mask to fight fires. It may be used to enter smoke-filled spaces to rescue personnel. A good example when the situation is already at the smoldering phase. The airline mask is a demand flow. Airline respirator with a speaking diaphragm monocular lens with adjustable head harness, breathing tube and belt mounted demand regulator 
with male and female quick disconnect fittings. A 25-foot length of hose with male and female quick disconnect fitting is provided for use with air line mask. This hose can be used to connect to the demand regulator fitting in a low pressure air supply or to a compressed air cylinder with an intervening air regulator and air filter. The maximum length of hose that may be used with air with airline mass is 250 feet. Tending lines. Tending lines are used as a precautionary measure to help rescue an investigator or firefighter who is wearing an oxygen breathing apparatus, airline mask, or similar equipment. These can be also used to rescue other people. A 50-foot nylon covered steel wire tending line is used aboard ship with the oxygen breathing apparatus or the airline mask. The tending line has a stout hook on each end that is closed with a snap catch. The line is pliable and can slide freely around obstruction. Tending lines is essential to be attached to the firefighter in responding fire scene. If a firefighter entered the fire scene wherein the situation is already at the smoldering pace, when the said firefighter is already out of oxygen, the firefighter may pull the tending line to notify his or her comrades to pull him or her over before he or she will get unconscious. Proximity Firefighting Suit Proximity clothing is designed to protect a firefighter from any fire producing high levels of regent heat. Proximity suits are designed for exterior rescue operations in other fire situations where there are hazards and people operating in excessive temperature within the manufacturer's recommended operating range. The outer layer of these alumni assembles help to reflect more than 90% of the region heat, thereby helping the rescuer prolong their stay near a fire. Proximity firefighting is also a specialized firefighting operation that can include the activities of rescue, fire suppression, and property conservation at incidents involving fires producing high levels of radiant heat as well as conductive and convective heat. Combustible gas indicator. A combustible gas indicator is a device used to detect the presence of combustible, flammable, toxic, and oxygen depleting gases in an area. They are commonly used in industrial plants to detect gas leakage or build up before it can reach an explosive level. It is also used to measure the concentration of certain gases in a specified area through the use of infrared point, ultrasonic, electrochemical, or semiconductor sensors. As I just mentioned a while back, it will measure a specified gas concentration and compare that to a reference point or scale. If a sensor's response surpasses the pre-test level, an alarm, light, or combination of signals will warn the users. What are the areas where combustible gas detectors are used? The areas where combustible gas detectors are used are the following. Home, building shops, nuclear plants, and wastewater treatment. It also includes herein the uh, tight spaces such as tanks, pits, vessels, and storage bins. This can quickly, safely, 
and accurately detect all combustible gases or vapors associated with fuel oils, alcohol, gasoline, hydrogen, acetylene in mixture with air or oxygen and the like. Sensitive in detecting small quantities of gases and vapors up to the lower explosive limit and it gives a reliable indication of the mixture if in the upper explosive range. However, it does not identify the explosive or combustible gases that are present. Gas detectors can detect the presence of carbon monoxide upon arrival at coal sites and determine if the premises are safe for habitation. These units can even be used to locate the gas source, often garages or leaky furnace vents. Fire departments may also respond to natural gas leaks or suspicious odors and must be able to measure concentration of several gas or similar gases simultaneously using of this unit. Flame safety lamp. It was discovered by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1815. It was discovered with dual purpose of detecting methane as well as mine illumination. Many modifications have been done to the flame safety lamp. Nowadays, the, the uh, flame safety lamp is mostly used for methane detection. Twenty one percent of oxygen can support the combustion. Flame safety lamp gives a good warning against oxygen deficiency in air below. Because below seventeen percent to seventeen point five percent oxygen, the lamp will be extinguished. Forcible entry is an essential fire ground function. After all, fires cannot be extinguished and searches cannot begin until entry is made by firefighters. Firefighters are expected to breach through doors, windows, walls, and floors as well as the security devices used to deny unauthorized admittance or anything that may give hazard on their operation. What are the most commonly used for their forcible entry? Here are the following. First, we have the sledgehammer, fire axle, crowbar, leaking bar, and the glue tool and the like. In cases, the doors and the windows are not possible, then it's about time to make a hole and to make a way for you to get in. In order to see, save the people inside Likewise, the properties. Hot saw. It is a hand-powered small tool and saw used for cutting metal pipes, rods, brackets. Hot saws can also cut through plastic. The hot saw has a U-shaped frame and a handle at one end. They have small pins at each end of the frame that receive a blade. They are used by plumbers to cut pipes and occasionally by electricians to cut conjoints. While the bolt cutter, most of these are same as those used in the structural firefighting and are readily available at the scene of a collision. Bolt cutter can cut wires, cables, chain link, padlocks, bolts, nails, mesh, and piping. They are useful when 
hydraulic tools are committed elsewhere or are not readily available. It is most effective on relatively thin material that can easily fit within the tool's jaws. Next, osteoacetylene cutting outfit. It may be used to rescue workers on metal plating or metal obstructions that would hinder rescue workers or firefighters. The portable pack type may be used to rescue workers on metal plating or metal obstructions that would hinder rescue workers or firefighters. The outfit consists of two cylinders, oxygen and acetylene, regulator, hoses, torch, and tip. The part two will be posted soon. Thank you so much.